right, so here he is, one of the best featherweights in the world, fighting out of Spain, Ilya Toporia. It's amazing to have this type of wisdom and maturity and sophistication at 26 years of age. And that sophistication really bleeds into his fighting style. If you reference the Ryan Hall fight, that is as tricky a stylistic challenge as there is in the featherweight division. And he stayed measured the entire time before getting that knockout in round one. He has taken his game to that requisite next level ever since, making himself impossible to deny a world title fight. Well, as usual, the eyes of the mixed martial arts world are fixed upon Patty, the batty pimplet, when he competes. And anytime you're able to win when you're not at your best, as was the case in his win over Jared Gordon, that's a feather in your cap. Pimblet back on the horse tonight. Win. Ultimately, that's what it's all about. Patty Pimblet gets the job done. But listen to this arena. Listen to the reaction oh. that people give this young man when he steps from behind the curtain. This guy is a star. He has that star quality about him. But not only does he have that, he can fight. And ultimately, it's about winning fights. Patty Pimblet does that in spades. There are so many components to this Patty Pimblet package, the accent, the persona. But this is a very talented mixed martial artist out to prove as much yet again tonight. All right, with that, both fighters have now graced the octagon. They will lock the door behind them, ready to go with a crazy fight here at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Our tail of the tape now for this lightweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Elia El Matador Corporea. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Pony. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Dateline, Las Vegas, Nevada. This is the fight capital of the world with respect to anywhere else you want to go. If I'm a fighter, if I'm an athlete in combat sports, this is where I want to go. You want to fight in Vegas, and now this beautiful T-Mobile Arena is the backdrop for tonight's great UFC event. Toporti is in half guard. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Well, he's got the ground and pound going now. Strong work from the top here by Pimblet. Pretty productive with the strikes here off his back. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Patty Pimble. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Pimblet's able to transition back to side control now. You have to be so well-rounded once you get to the top of these divisions. You cannot just be a knockout guy. You gotta be able to change it up if you find yourself in this situation that he's in right now. Oh, nice. Pimblet's right back to the full mount here. Yeah. 
All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Pimble. On oh, another punch on the ground, gets through. May need some defense here. There it is. Now he's going to mount. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage on. Pimblet going to work here from the full guard. Nice combination of strikes, mixing it up pretty well here. Under a minute to go. Ooh, going for a leg lock. It's, it's tight. He's going hard to try to get the heel hook. He cannot allow for him to beat his hips with his knee if he wants to finish this fight. Oh, somehow he gets out. He gets out and he goes right on the offense. He's trying to sub him. Oh my goodness, he's struggling to finish. He escapes. I mean, he countered. Oh, oh and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, so there's the end of the round. We had a big submission attempt there midway through, but largely the submission defense held up. It wasn't tight. We thought the fight Ready was fight? over. But Ready. stayed patient, Good. stayed calm, relaxed, and found his way out of that deep submission. All right, different round, but same approach out of the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighter. Not sure if there is an injury, but his ground game is so strong, he hasn't made any effort to take the fight there. I don't understand when you possess that skill, when you're so good on the ground, so strong in positions, he does such a great job of finding submissions. I don't know why he wouldn't spend the vast majority of the fight there. Tonight he is fighting a very confusing style of fight, and I just don't get it. that we expect. Well, I'm no expert, but you can't work that patented ground and pound unless you get the fight. Oh! Oh, gotta keep pressing here! Oh, just open it up on it now. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Three minutes now to go round two. Came with inches right there. Wow. It was a good night at that land. Well, clearly his leg is hurt, and now you see him starting to limp a little bit, Chuck. Yeah, he's starting to limp from the leg there. He's been beat up, but he's a pulling. Oh, put the foot on the head. Flying on guard. It takes so much courage to even attempt a good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Great submission defense. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transitions. Posture's up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. Another strike gets through from the top position. Great shot from the top position. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. <laughs> 45 seconds remain in the round. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Oh, might be able to get his leg here, and he does. 
Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. He's getting very close to finishing this fight. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. Yeah, man, you see two high-level grapplers going after it. One guy gets an advantage. The other guy always has a response. We thought it was over. A lesser opponent would have been submitted, Ready. but these two are two of the best grapplers in the entire UFC. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Pimlet gets the single leg takedown. Well played. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, now the hook in the you clinch by it. Patty Pimlet. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Well, I'm not sure if it's the fatigue, fear, if that's a factor at all, but his submission skills are so good, but he can't execute them if he can't get the fight to the ground. You got to get the fight to the floor. You cannot stand there and strike with a striker, especially when you're this good in the submission. Looking to establish the jab here nicely done. First leg kick grounds his opponent with it a little bit, trying to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this one. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Three minutes now to go in the round. Takedown defense holds up. Nice work here on the clinch by Ilya Topuri. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. Oh, strong hook to the head there by Topuri. Just missed on the front kick there. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out. Nice little time kick to the body for the champion. Tremendous body kick lands for this guy. Any body kick may finish this fight. It does not have to be the front one up the middle. With that right hand. Collar tie here in the clinch. He loaded up there with that high kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Topuri is now dealing with a cheat cut. 20 seconds left. Nice kick landed there by Topuria. Oh, All right, three man. rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is. You can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, and then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Such a low right there, I see he's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back. I mean, blood's in the water. You got to go and get it. You got to go find the finish. 
You can't. Oh, on both sides. And the chins continue to hold up. Well, that calf is starting to show signs of bruising now. And you can tell in the way that he's walking. Starting to take an effect. Oh, nice jab to the dome by Ilya Topuria. Misses with the left hook. Just over three minutes now to go. his opponent still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Oh, like beautifully tied with the Superman punch. Nice job blocking that punch. Well, not a great visual now. Two professional athletes visibly exhausted like this. They have brought the best out of each other, and I guess if you're going to gas out, at least your opponent's gas too. At times, it was nice. At times, it was pretty. Right now, it ain't pretty. <laughs> well, calf kicks have changed the game, and there is another one. A lot of swelling now on that lower leg of his opponent. I mean, it's all purple and black, John. This guy's getting his legs destroyed. Big shot to the head. Single leg like takedown. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Beautiful transition. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Great job changing the position and getting that reversal. Topuria's eye now closing up. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Uh, 20 minutes in the can. Five to go. What a round it was for him, DC, and of course the seminal moment, that big knockdown that he will try to piggyback on here in this next round. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see how he builds off of the momentum that he gets from that last round. How does he deal with the success that he had and not push too hard too early trying to find the finish? You have to let it come to you as the knockdown came to you in the previous round. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He's a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Left hand there on the inside. Well, he landed a big knockout in the previous round, and you can just tell his confidence is growing from here. His confidence is through the roof as it's... Oh, man, he's hurt. Big right hand there. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Pretty good jab. Ooh, the head kick land. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. 
side late in the fight now, DC. The submission specialist clearly is going to be on the wrong end of the scorecards as we get. You got to get going. It does not matter if you get reversed or stopped. It does not matter if you get the guard back. You got to get the full enough submission to get the whole Nice guillotine to tip here. That guillotine is tight. Pimblet's in half court. Wright has the guard closed here. Toporti is back in half guard. Wright, so he's setting up for submission here. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. Oh, Bale's on the submission now. Neil Billy. Now he's going full mount. Changing the position. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Good, solid strike on the ground. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat other up. It's been tremendous. Pimlet's back in full now. All right, so a competitive title fight tonight, Daniel, as many expected. 25 minutes, not enough to determine a winner. Slight lean to the champion or what? I do believe he's still champion, but that's why he's the champion. Because when the challenges are the biggest, he usually will step up. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. For the winner by unanimous decision, and still.